All right, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all know right now. Have y'all pen in y'all pad. I know every time I be on live teaching, I be lying saying I'm only gonna be here 20 minutes. I'm really only gonna be here 20 minutes today. I mean, you hear me? All right, what time is it, y'all? What time y'all got over there? I do to finish my movie. Say less. I just need an extra 2K. Say less. All right, y'all. Somebody said you got your timer. I'm finna get my timer, bro. <laughs> hey, I say that shit all the time. Nigga be on here a whole hour. <laughs> I'm seriously, I'm, I'm not I'm seriously, I'm serious though, y'all. All right, look, let's get it. It's 12.17, let's get to work. 12.40, I'm done. I'm gonna try to do this quicker than 12.40. So if you screen recording, or if you have the ability to screen record, start screen recording. Or if you wanna take real notes, cause I know that worked better for some people, take your real fucking notes. We about to get busy. Um, and then anyway, I mean, not anyway, y'all. My second thing is this. Somebody said, can I join? Bro, ain't, bro, getting money, being self-aware, being a, st a strong father, a strong leader. Um, bro, I can go on and on. This shit is universal. Absolutely universal. My grandma here. Hey, grandma. Grandma's 1218, huh? Gotta get you some rest. Talking about she do. <laughs> hey, y'all say hey to my grandma. That's her right there. Little skin, 73. <laughs> All right, y'all, my grandma here, so I'm finna be good. Y'all lucky, I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna teach and be doing all that cursing because my grandma here, so I gotta behave. All right, y'all, let's get to work. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, my grandma pop up, it do make my brain be like, all right, Derek, convey your message, but you need to say that shit with love because your grandma here, you gotta be good. All right, y'all, um, we finna get into it. If everybody could hear me, drop a one, please. And again, if you screen recording, uh, if you're taking notes, whatever the case is, do so. I'm going to give y'all the same disclaimer I've been giving y'all since January 1st. Y'all, everybody that keeps saying my volume go up or down or slow up or whatever the case is, I don't know what's up with IG. IG is just doing what IG do. People have been telling me it's been like that for like a month at this point. I don't know what it is, but it just is what it is. We politicking either way. So first and foremost, y'all. I told y'all we kicking 2024 off the way that I know a lot of people can appreciate. The first 500 people that get that physical catalog, this ain't the digital version, it's the physical one. It come with like over 40 bodies of work and you get access to my course and classes, but you get the physical. First 500 people getting it for free. I'm gonna say this again. The only thing you have to invest in when you get this catalog is the shipping. Cause I'm not shipping it for free y'all. It's one thing for me to give it to you for free, like it's, an, it's one thing for at 34 years old, bro gonna give y'all everything. Cause y'all, I deliver every year. I ain't took a year off in 12 years. I drop every year, book, curriculum, curriculums, guys, X, Y, Z. Yes, it's physical. Omni, Omni is physical, bro. Um, good night, grandma, I love you. So look, um, that's only for the first 500 people. After that, you are absolutely gonna have to pay. Somebody said where? Y'all the same place that everything else is on my on, on where that I offer y'all. Click the link in the bio. It's gonna say 12 year catalog. So I'm just putting that disclaimer out here. And then I'm finna show y'all in real time how you cheating the fuck out yourself. Look, my grandma gone, I'm finna start cussing again. You cheating the fuck out yourself if you don't go get that motherfucker for free, especially because the shit that I've been trying to put y'all on for I don't know how many years is more important than ever at this point. Let's get into it, y'all. Number one. Well, I'm in this body of work right here. This section is 25 ways to make money. Some of y'all know about this because some of y'all done invested and y'all got this. But we actually wrote this shit. This is supposed to be 25 ways for your children to make money. But as grown ass adults, y'all could be doing the same shit. Let's talk about it. Number one, uh, we got 19 minutes, so I'm finna run it quick. Money making idea number eight. And again, y'all, literally, you could have been made your bread back. You could have been made, been made a thousand, five thousand, whatever the case is. But just hear me good. Number one, I'm sorry. I'm going to say number one, but I'm on number eight. Um, is a money making idea number eight is become a fiver middleman. Become a fiver middleman. If you are alive in 2024 
and you are not familiar with Fiverr, especially if you do business or whatever the case is, you fucking tripping. Everybody and their mama should know what Fiverr is. Absolutely, everybody and their mama should know the importance of Fiverr, how it can offset your work, how you can get VAs, you can get a lot of shit done. You feel me? So, number one, become a Fiverr middleman. Fiverr middleman. So let's get into it. Fiverr is one of the go-to places all new businesses need to get familiar with. Uh, and y'all, this is the crazy shit. We made this shit three, four years ago, I think. So like I tell a lot of y'all, y'all been could have changed y'all position. Y'all been could have been, y'all been could have been doing some different shit. But motherfuckers just love to like totally ignore what it is you got going on until it's the only thing that can save their ass. Fiverr is one of the go-to places all new businesses need to get familiar with. It's a website that has thousands of freelancers on it selling all kinds of services for almost anyone in the world. It will be referenced in this book plenty of times, so make sure you get familiar with it. Yes, Fiverr has anything from logo creation to t-shirt and product design to someone singing and dancing to a tune of your choice. It is a world within itself. Now you may wonder how in the world do you make money? The other day I was on a call with the Unlearn and Relearn Academy and it was about 12 students. And I'm gonna say this again, y'all. A lot of y'all asking questions and with love, but y'all the same broke behind dead last motherfuckers who need to be listening. And I ain't saying that to be mean, but I'm just telling you real spill. Like a lot of y'all niggas, y'all had them teachers that used to say shit like I got my degree. Like, I don't know if y'all notice my background. Y'all notice this ain't the same background from two days ago. I'm not at that crib. I'm at my other one. You feel me? So this is the part where a lot of niggas need to understand, like you got two ears and one mouth for a reason. When niggas that's putting you on more than what your daddy did and your teacher did and all your big homies and your niggas and your bitches combined, and you got niggas that's 34, that's in your bracket, maybe younger, a little older, but half the age of your grandparents and parents, and they moving and grooving at a level that nobody in your family is doing, all y'all combined, this the part where you go in student mode. So I know that may sting a little bit, but I'm just telling you real spill. Like when I be with David Banner, I don't be asking a bunch of frivolous, stupid ass shit. The man has produced for Gatorade and Disney. Nigga, shut the fuck up and listen. When I was when I spent time with Nip on three to four different occasions, niggas wasn't asking stupid. I give y'all this example all the time. Niggas wasn't asking stupid shit. We was in motherfucking student mode. Nigga, when I be with my daddy, cause my daddy that guy, I don't be asking stupid shit. And that's my daddy. I'm allowed to ask stupid shit. I'm his son. But I be in motherfucking student mode because I seen my daddy do and raise a son that most niggas can't say they did in their lifetime. Like he became something himself and then raised a son that became something bigger than him. A lot of niggas can't say that right now. You feel me? So with love, y'all. This is why I said if you screen recording, screen record, take notes. You definitely need to take notes because like, again, it ain't too many anomalies that's on this bitch 12 o'clock at night. When they could be, you feel me, enjoying a gang of other things, you feel me? So let's get back to it. The other day I was on a call with the Unlearn and Relearn Academy. It was about 12 students sharing their need for a logo. I went on Fiverr.com. I walked them through the process from how to use a search bar to finding the best freelancer. As soon as I was done, I asked, how long did it take you to make this order for the logo? They answered 10 minutes. It took them 10 minutes. On, these, these, and remind you, the example I'm giving y'all some children we was teaching. In the Unlearn and Relearn Academy, it's like three years ago, some kids. It took them 10 minutes to get a logo done. I'm going to say this with love. You know how many of you adults on here right now that's still struggling to get your business imagery done? These some motherfucking children who moved right then and got the shit done. If it only takes 10 minutes and it's as low as $10 to get a logo done, why not be the person who sells logos? All you would have to do is make a flyer saying you create logos and that the cost is $25. Once someone purchases the logo from you from 25, you go to Fiverr and you go pay 10 for the logo. You're simply playing middleman the American way. You're playing middleman and now you collecting $15, ain't doing a motherfucking thing but being a liaison and initiating the conversation. So I'm gonna pause this right there and I'm gonna put it on y'all. Y'all, I want everybody that can comment and could think of something. Name something right now that you could use to make your business better. Name anything under the sun right now that you could use to make your business better. Because one of the craziest things I try to bring to people's attention every day is your target market is usually right the fuck in front of you. But we be so caught up in adding complexity to shit that don't need it that you overlook it. So I'm gonna help y'all out in slow motion today. Anybody with a business, 
Name something that you need right now to better your business. Ads, here we go. Ads, promotion, marketing, tools, content, people. I don't know about people. Fiverr does all of that, right? So here's like the light bulb part. Some of y'all are so worrying about being entrepreneur of the year that you really haven't figured out the fact that the entrepreneur market is, is robust right now. We had a boom right now for entrepreneurs. So why don't you stop worrying about trying to like, and I ain't telling you to defer from your dreams, but imagine this. Imagine you stop worrying about selling the best t-shirt and you actually play middleman to the motherfucker who make the t-shirts. Here's the difference. You may not be good at marketing. You may not be good at advertisement. You may not be good at product description, campaigns, or none of that. But you know what you don't got to be good at to make money? Being a fucking middleman. So what I just did for y'all right now, if you're looking at the people who answering the question, that is your target audience. These people are literally commenting pain points. So for those of you who are actually serious, this is what you literally should do. Them people who commenting right now, y'all supposed to slide in their fucking DM and be like, oh, you need help with marketing, bro? Say less. I do that. They're going to be like, for real? How much it be costing? Before you make contact, you need to run your ass over to Fiverr and you need to go. That's why I say, y'all, please get familiar with Fiverr. You can literally go to Fiverr right now and type in marketing campaigns. You're going to have people from all different walks of life in different countries who, gonna, who price points going to pop up and be like, Hey, I charge $85 for a marketing campaign. I do this, this, and this. You know what you then gonna do to the person whose name you just saw pop up and say they need help with marketing? You're gonna be like, hey man, my name John John. And I do this, this, and this. John John, how much that shit is? Bro, we doing a special right now, you know? I got you for 150. Oh, say less, cause man, shit, I done spent thousands on this shit and still ain't figured out. Oh, bro, say less, we got you. You literally gonna jump back on Fiverr, get the information from John John, Send it to the person in motherfucking Indonesia because our money and one thing too with Fiverr that's very helpful, y'all, is the American nigga. If you got a 10,000 American dollars, bitch, you the man in some of these other countries. A lot of y'all just that's why I keep saying, like, I'm not and I'm not telling you to defer from your individual dreams, but I'm telling you, like, when I said who need an extra five to 10k, nigga, your demographic is dead in front of you. When I ask questions like, what are y'all struggling with with business? Those are the pain points. So if y'all paying attention when it comes to marketing and somebody's literally op uh, openly telling you like, I need help with marketing, that's a pain point. So when y'all literally, you said, what if your business, what if you're a business owner that only had $10 to pay for a logo? Bro, then look, this way y'all gotta improvise. And bro, I tell everybody, assist, my, my apologies, I can't really see the picture, but I tell everybody, especially when you starting in business, you gotta find cost efficient ways to get this shit done. Man, y'all got to stop playing with these phones. I don't know if you got an iPhone. I don't know if Android do this shit, but with an iPhone, right? This is what you literally could do. You could take the phone, right? Hold the phone face down. Take a picture of it face down so the background is all black. You can go to your pictures. Y'all, again, I don't know if Android do this, but y'all know an iPhone, you could press down on a picture. It'll let you copy and paste the picture. It'll pull the actual picture off the background. So let's say I had a picture of me standing like this. I'm going to hold that bitch down to when, to when it give me the option to copy it. I'm going to copy it, go back to my Instagram story where I got that black background sitting there and paste my face on that motherfucker. Then I'm going to click the word section on the top when you, in your IG stories. And I'm going to say, um, whatever your business name is, you're going to type that shit out, use a couple different fonts, put an email or whatever your contact information is. Go to the gift section or or where it lets you use emojis. Add a couple emojis to that motherfucker. And I would do it right now, y'all, but I don't feel like it. But y'all, literally, we be adding complexity to shit that don't need it. So I know probably in your mind, you want like some grand logo. But listen, you ain't got the budget for that right now. So you got to meet yourself where you actually at. Improvise. You literally can just go grab a picture. To go take a dope ass picture of yourself right now. Even if you ain't got one. Copy and paste that shit in your IG stories. And there, there go your goddamn flyer. Literally, like, you ain't got to fuck your $10. I ain't saying that anyway. Fuck your $10. Keep your 10. Take 10 minutes and go make your own logo until you work your way up and you can go compensate a motherfucker for a logo. Y'all, that's with anybody. Even for those of you who, who want to position yourself, like the example I just gave, if somebody needed a logo, y'all really don't got to use Fiverr at all. It just really depends on the quality that the person looking for. But if they're if they not looking for no crazy quality, Man, y'all could cook this shit up all night. 
You could cook this shit up all day. I keep saying this, y'all. This shit be mind blowing to me how we have smartphones, but do nothing with dumb shit, but do nothing but dumb shit with them. You got a whole mini computer in your pocket. Get busy. Like, again, this is money making idea number eight. But y'all, you ain't even got to do that. So like, mind you, I just saw, hey, y'all, let me, let me ask this question real quick. If you got a business or you gonna, or you plan to have one, drop a one if you could use a better logo. Drop a one if you need a logo, period. Just drop a one. And yes, y'all, we got eight minutes left. And I'm, I, I done already read the money making idea and gave y'all two examples, but we gonna keep probably ticking to 1240 then I'm out of here. So look, my bro, and that, I fuck with him in real life. Bentley Fortune just said, I do logos, DM me, right? So this is the point I'm making. You see them ones dropping? That's called your target audience. Those are called pain points. Those people are literally telling you like, hey, I have a business, I have this, and I could use more of that. Yo, that's at least like eight, eight, nine, one. I mean, eight or nine, but shit, the, the ones are still going. So when I say shit like being given out so much free game, it's crazy. I appreciate it, bro. So look, when I say shit like make you an extra five to 10K, here's the play. Let's say only half of them fuck with your services, right? So seven of them are going to be like, yeah, I, I could use that, bro. And let's say on five, they charging 10. If they charging 10, then you're going to go back to them seven, them six or seven people who said they fucking with you. You're going to be like, bro, I can get that done in 12 hours or less for $80. You're going to pull up on Fiverr. They're going to ask you, what's the window of completion? You're going to let them know, like, hey, I need a rushed order. Or some people will turn it over in 12 hours. You just cracked seven times $80, $560. That quick. You ain't had to go nowhere. You ain't had to leave the house. You ain't had to get a degree. You ain't had to be the smartest motherfucker in the room. You just had to identify a lack in a void and figure out how you can fill the void. And the, and the dopest shit about it is y'all don't have to be master teachers. You ain't got to be good with your hands. You got to be good with the phone that you spent a thousand dollars on. That's the wild shit, y'all. Like I've been giving this example for years. Y'all, the average phone bill going to run us a hundred dollars a month. That shit don't start to bother you at some point that you got a thousand dollar device that you don't know how to make three dollars off per month per day so you can at least offset your bill. It ain't no fucking body in America, y'all, who phone should get cut off because there's too many people that need assistance, whether it be business, whether it be real life. And you could just middleman the play. We be trauma bonding in niggas comments anyway. We be sliding in fucking DMs, giving giving uh, compliments all day anyway. We be on this bitch seeing who winning, who beefing, who doing every motherfucking thing else on the iPhone. But how to, I'm going to say smartphone, my bad. I, I just got iPhone. That's why I keep saying it. Because I know Android is a smartphone as well. But y'all get what I'm putting down. Y'all get the point. You got a thousand dollar device. Go make 10 grand a year with that bitch at minimum. Just play the middle man. And I'm going to say it again. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to encourage none of y'all to defer from y'all businesses. I'm just simply saying like some of y'all be overthinking the process. I'm going to tell you one more thing before I get off of here. As a culture, especially, there's this ideology that like, man, I need a million. My first million, my million, my million. Some of y'all be thinking too big. And I know you're not used to hearing that. But the point, excuse me, the point I'm making is some of y'all think so big that you forget the small steps that's going to get you to the big one. Figure out how to figure out your 10K formula first and then start quadrupling that motherfucker. But because some of y'all like, you know, when it comes to music, when it comes to artistry, when it comes to entertainment, it's just, I need the M's, the M's, the M's. My nigga, you ain't made the 10s. Slow the fuck down. Because once you identify your formula to make the 10s, what most hustlers or most people that really don't touch the million dollars going to tell you is that, bro, most of us don't come up with an instantaneous idea that just get us to the million. That shit trial and error. We fuck up. We fuck up. We fuck up. Then we do good. Then we do good. And then we start being intentional about doing good. And we just and we just keep repeating them same steps. So that's another thing I want to say to y'all, because like I said, like some of us want to be too big, too fast. And you listen, you're going to run. Listen, you're chasing the M, but you ain't even got like the tools and the, and, and the internal makeup to make a hundred thousand. Man, you ain't going to never touch a fucking M. Your discipline ain't there. Your work ethic ain't there. Your consistency ain't there. You have not found your sweet spot or a working formula. So I'm going to say this, y'all, because somebody asked this question. And y'all, if y'all want to put dollar amounts, that's totally cool. If y'all don't, that's cool, too. But anybody, if you have made any money with the information, because people love to ask this question. y'all, And I'm gonna, I keep telling y'all, 
Y'all, that statement is so bogus because y'all don't know how many people leverage social media to a lot of y'all and have literally, they're literally stage motherfuckers that's going to join a live and cap out. But listen, since y'all add, well, I ain't going to say y'all, only one person asked, but to everybody that's done made some money with the information, drop a money bag. I've been doing this shit 12 years. And I'm going to tell y'all too, y'all, I never use that example because that ain't what I hang my hat on. I hang my hat on the fact that y'all seen my children since they was three and six. Nigga, that's the greatest example I could ever make. You hear me? Fuck that money, nigga. You seen my children. And you seen what level my... my. That was a three and a six-year-old. Fuck that money. Niggas, niggas know we done made some money. Y'all see where I live at. Y'all see what I be in. Y'all see the, the shit I done had around my neck. Thank you to everybody dropping the money bags, too. I made money when I got the post trump pack one or two years ago to now. Appreciate everybody that's dropping it, y'all. But I want to say this, too, to bro that ass. Bro, that ain't where I hang my hat. You ain't never gonna see that as my bragging right. Bro, my bragging right is I I literally know how to create little people that surpass the big people in a third of the time. My bragging right is like, I became a daddy. I became a daddy at 18. Nigga, you know what type of shit your mind gotta be on? If, di if that's what your two oldest children look like and you first start having them when niggas was fresh, you know what niggas was doing fresh out of high school? Bullshitting. I ain't knocking them either because they supposed to bullshit. They was teenagers. That's what niggas was doing. This is what I was doing. It shows through my children. Those are my results. So I know a lot of y'all be big on like, how many people got rich off of this? I don't know, bro, because I don't even ask them questions. That's not my bragging right. Like my legacy would not be cemented by 50,000 niggas being like, man, I made a thousand. My legacy going to be cemented because people going to be like, hey, you remember the girl that was blindfolded? With the guns, that's what that's what they know. Montego, and you said, and you got hella people at back. Appreciate you, bro. You hear me? Like niggas don't be like, hey, you remember that nigga DG? That had that, had that big ass monster house in Georgia. He had another one in Florida, and that, no niggas gonna be like, bro, do you remember that nigga with them kids? When I get older, or oh, I'm gone, they gonna be like, you talking about the nigga had them tattoos? Yeah, 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 that nigga, man. You remember the video? Let me go find it. I'm sure this shit's still circulating on the internet. That's what my legacy submitted on, bro. So just being transparent with you, like, not taking nothing from people who run that route. I don't run that route. But anyway, y'all, it's 1239, and I'm going to say it again. I literally just gave y'all a play in 20 minutes. A lot of y'all adding complexity to shit that's just completely unnecessary. The craziest shit is the things that I, the things that's in my catalog, when y'all check the copyright dates, when y'all check the copyright dates, you gonna realize like, bro put this shit out eight years ago. So I'm gonna be completely transparent. A lot of y'all could have been had y'all shit together. If, if it was like, I ain't gonna say like, I got all the answers to life, cause I don't. So let me take that back. Not just saying like, well, if you had bought my shit, your shit would have been together. But I'm just saying, the tools that I'm putting you on right now, you could have been had access to those. Y'all could have been running it up on Fiverr. Y'all could have been middlemaning and running up a bag. Y'all could have been finding cost efficient ways to get shit done. But again, y'all, my, my catalog is completely free for the first 500 people. And let me say this again. The only thing you have to pay is your shipping with love, y'all. And this is with love. I'm not being a smart ass when I say this. Um... Uh, we have a payment plan on the website, right? So if you use the payment plan, your shipping is $15. Like shit, this this just one of the curriculums you get. Like y'all know it's like over 40 different bodies of work, but it's just one of them. So I'm gonna say this. If you were at a place, uh, you said, yeah, you gave a big play on how I made 11 million in the, during the pandemic. That was the title, but yeah, appreciate you. Hey, DJ Nar, bro, I tried to break that marketing down as best I could in that, cat, in, in that body of work. But I'm gonna just say this, y'all. If you're at a place, and this is with real fucking love, I'm not being a smart ass, I swear. If you are at a place where you are unable to invest in somebody else's life work, because that's really my life work, that's everything I done put out 12 years back to back, um, to get it shipped, because I ain't making you pay for nothing in there. Because if, if, if you go to the curriculum section, you'll see like, them motherfuckers individually be 100 or $200 a piece by themselves. But again, if you're at a place where you're unable to invest just to get it shipped to your front door, you don't need to focus on my body of work. 
you genuinely need to focus on yourself. Just being dead ass, I promise I'm not being a smart ass. You need to focus on yourself. With the payment plan, it's $15. Just focus on yourself, King. Focus on yourself, Queen. <laughs> I'm laughing, y'all, but I'm being dead ass, for real. Just focus on yourself, all right? You need to just go back to the drawing board and maybe come up with some more hustles or use the hustle that I just gave you with Fiverr and then pull up. Now, it may be gone. It may be sold out by then, but pull up later on, just being completely transparent. But like I said, y'all, the entire body of work is free. All the curriculums, all the books, the flashcards, and home banking, board game, everything come in that box is free. And then y'all get digital access instantly to the courses and the classes. Because of course, I can't ship you a course. I can't ship you a class. Um, bank first, I appreciate it, family. But like I said, y'all, click the link in the bio. Only the first 500 are gonna be free. After that, it's gonna be right back uh, to between 4.99 and 9.99.99. So again, anybody want to jump on it, I suggest you do so ASAP. Um, it was something else I was going to tell y'all, but I forgot it. And it's time for me to go, y'all. Somebody said, where's the bio? Look, when you get off my live, just go to my page and click that link. It's When you open it, it's going to say, yeah, it's going to say DGTV 12 year catalog, blah, blah, blah. And then boom. Let me confirm you're the dad on the Royster 5-9 skit. Yeah, bro. Bro, the, bro that's why I be telling these I'm Grammy nominated. I know they probably be like, how? How are you Grammy nominated? What did you do? Um, me and Derek on Royce the Five Nine album and, sh and shout out to bro again. Shout out to him again. Cause that's major. I only think my baby realized that she is Grammy nominated. She 12 years old and she's Grammy nominated. But yeah, bro, that's me. I'm the dad on the album and Derek uh, was the daughter. Honestly, bro, when he has to go in the studio, he actually like, we use, that's a real video. That's a genuine video, bro, that uh, me and her put out years ago. And his people hit me, then we politic, and it was a go, but yeah, bro. At 34, man, your boy done done a lot. I done done so much, I forgot a lot of that shit. So thank you for reminding me, bro, because I really do be forgetting, like, I'm way bigger than just, what meets the eye like it's motherfucking entertainer that ain't never been grammy nominated i wasn't even trying you feel me so again shout out to royster 59 because that's that's a dope ass accomplishment it's gonna get attached to my legacy and my daughter's legacy legacy especially but anyway y'all y'all have a beautiful night click the link in the bio k-line absolutely bro click the link in the bio y'all um like i said the first 500 free is first come first serve so once they run out y'all it's a wrap on that I'll see y'all tomorrow. Sketchy. Likewise, bro. And y'all, hey, go use the play for real. Don't just sit on this live and be like, hell yeah. That's a that's a gym. Take your ass, I take take your ass to Fiverr right now and go get you some money. If you listen to people long enough, you'll identify their issues. When you identify the issues, you ain't gotta be the smartest nigga in the room no more. You're gonna be the middleman. Go to Fiverr, get the price point. Go back to the people with the issues, double up halfway, 50%, 60, 70, 40, however you want to run the play and go get you some money. And you realize none of what I just told y'all requires y'all to leave the house. It don't require y'all to go nowhere. It don't require y'all to know how to do a backflip. It don't require y'all to be smart. It don't require you to be a fucking genius, have a degree, invest in a $10,000 program. It requires you to use a fucking smartphone that you use every day for everything else to go get you some bread. I'm going to holler at y'all tomorrow.